Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. It is July 9th. Lisa, Scott, Dylan here with mm -hmm. you. Uh, of course, we're live on Facebook every weekday morning. We love it when you join us live, but of course, it stays on your feed throughout the day, so you can watch it whenever it works best for you. We also made it into a podcast, uh, so <laughs> you can listen to it that way as well. Uh, go to inform.com slash podcast. Look for the Inform Minute. I'm laughing because if you're listening simply on the podcast, you won't know that Dylan is... Uh, Having a hair. I walk day. over here. Your hair is. All, you're right. My hair was messed up. And then I looked at this. I, I was like, it's still messed up. I didn't say it was messed up. Well, I said it was more like. Up. It was more fluff. You made him paranoid. Yeah, no, you look not. You looked good, Dylan. Did you say paranoid or paranoid? Oh. Paranoid. Paranoid. <laughs> paranoid. Paranoid. Okay, that's oh, better. Oh, we're good. All of the above. <laughs> all right, so let's start with the uh, forecast. Yeah. Uh, good hair or not, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be another warm day. Yeah, bad hair day. A bad hair you day. You know, humid again <laughs> yes, today. that's true. And this humidity is not great for hair, so I can't get my hair organized. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Apparently. Okay. Um, but yeah, a little bit humid again, just like yesterday. You know, yesterday was, we had the humidity in the afternoon, mm -hmm. it got pretty warm, had afternoon showers and thunderstorms. It'll be like that again today. Mm -hmm. uh, and the difference is we'll have a little bit of upper level wildfire smoke in our skies. We had a little bit yesterday, but you couldn't really see a whole lot of it. Today we should have more. And a couple spots could have that wildfire smoke mixed down to the surface. I'm not expecting yeah. that to be widespread, but it could stink in a couple of spots uh, yeah. later on um, today. You said it was worse out west. Yes. West North Dakota, yep, right? yep. Mine out is having it pretty bad. Dickinson yesterday heard a few okay. reports that they could smell it. So hopefully it doesn't get that bad here, but it might in a couple of spots. We'll okay. see. Okay. Uh, tomorrow, sunny to partly cloudy, but no chances of thunder in the Yay, afternoon. One dry day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'll be finally nice. Yeah. And then warming up heat and humidity into the weekend. Make sure to pack extra deodorant if you're headed out. It's going to stink. Uh, very humid. Like dew points in the 70s, Ooh, heat yeah. in the 90s. It's going to probably feel like 100 for a few days. It's oh going to be very yeah. warm. Okay. And then when this heat does break down, we'll have a chance of a few scattered showers and storms. Looking like Sunday, along a cold front, and that will cool things down to at least comfortable levels into next week. Okay, sounds great. All Thank right. you, Dylan. You the bet. heat we've been waiting for. I guess oh, it's here. here. <laughs> Well, today we expect to learn more about a fire that destroyed a garage. That fire broke out on 6th Avenue Southeast in Jamestown, about a block north of the I-94 business loop. The Jamestown fire chief says the inside of the unattached garage was on fire when firefighters arrived Monday afternoon. It took them about a half hour to get the fire under control. Luckily, no one was hurt. All right, a local group has submitted more than 22,000 signatures in an effort to legalize recreational cannabis in North Dakota. In order to get the measure on the November ballot, they needed more than 15,000 valid signatures. The proposal would let adults 21 and older buy and possess small amounts of marijuana. And now the Secretary of State's office has until August 12th to validate those signatures. The Fargo Police Department will hold a special ceremony to honor Officer Jake Walleen and other first responders on the one year anniversary of the deadly July 14th shooting. That's this weekend. That ceremony is going to be held this Sunday uh, at Fargo City Hall at four in the afternoon. Everyone is invited. The event will also be live streamed on the City of Fargo social media sites. All right, we now know the name of a Fargo man pulled from Little Detroit Lake over the weekend. Uh, beachgoers helped carry 24-year-old Sterling Buckles to the shore on Saturday afternoon. Uh, the Becker County Sheriff's Office says he was found unresponsive and he wasn't breathing. Uh, right now, he is being treated at a hospital here in Fargo. We're tracking new developments in the collapse of Epic Companies. The troubled property and event management company has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Court filings cover five parts of Epic Companies and include hundreds of creditors and assets and liabilities as high as $100 million. Lighthouse Management Group has been appointed to oversee the restructuring of Epic. All right, this morning we're learning more about visits made to the White House by a top Parkinson's expert. It comes as concerns have already been ramping up about President Joe Biden's capacity to serve as president following last month's debate. Right now, the circumstances of the meetings are unclear, but this is what we do know. Uh, White House visitor logs show that the specialist visited the White House at least eight times since August. Uh, three of those visits happened uh, this year, including one in mid-January where he met with the White House physician. Now, these visitor logs do not provide reasons for the visit, including if it was specifically for the president. Uh, but Biden has talked about neurologists in the past, stating several times that he has a clean bill of health. And the White House press secretary says he is not being treated for Parkinson's. So uh, that's where we stand so far on that story. 
Hot Mike with Dom Izzo coming up 9 to 11 on WDAY Extra. And the countdown to the college football season begins today. Hot Mike is actually live in Las Vegas for Big 12 Media Days. Uh, former Bison coach Chris Kleiman will stop by and look ahead to the Bison opener with Colorado. A lot of buzz around that game. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's going to be fun. We're kind of checking in with Dom all week from Vegas. So yeah. 9 to 11 on WDAY Extra and Inform.com. That's super exciting. And don't forget, for just 99 cents a month for your first three months, you could get an all-access pass to Inform.com. Just go to Inform.com slash subscribe to get that deal. And join us for our next newscast coming up here at 11 this morning. And then we have you covered this afternoon, 4, 5, 6, 9, and 10. And we'll be back tomorrow morning for more First News. Have a great day, everyone.